Okay, so here we are at the fight against the flowing Pandaren Spear, which is the water one. Um, as I mentioned in the Wastewalker Shu video, first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to use the flying stone that I got from Shu. Um, there it is there. I'm just going to use that on my Jade Owl from Jewel Crafting from this expansion to make him an uncommon into a rare. Just to show you how to do it. First thing I did was I, I had summoned him. So there he is. I've targeted him. Let me just right click on it. And it doesn't work. Okay, I guess the Jade Owl doesn't work because it's not a flyer. Okay, so I guess we're not doing the Jade Owl. Uh, uh, let's do the Great Horned Owl. I do like the owls. Um, they have the Predatory Strike, uh, which if you've seen my videos, you know I use quite a bit. So I'm quickly make him a rare. He is actually from a vendor in Teldrassil. He's from the Night Elf area. And here we go against the flowing water spirit. Um, you'll notice I put my, my eco render back in for the first one. I still have my Kalari, and I still have my idol. Okay, so it's quick, easy. Talk to him. Another challenge. Well, that's kind of the whole purpose of being here. Uh, he starts off with Marley, which is the fish. So first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go give him a quick bite. Uh, he's probably not gonna, even going to hit. Oh, it does. Yeah, nice little hit. And then we're going to quickly switch out to the idol. He's going to dive down. I'm going to deflect. Again, if you want to see how to find these or the Beast of Fable, which are my other videos, um, you can check out my Tamer and Spirit Tamer video guide or my Beast of Fable guide. Uh, now, both of them are extremely long. Uh, the idea of these videos is that they're just quick, short videos to be able to help you if there's one specific pet that you're having issues with. Uh, you miss with this pump, so that's kind of handy. I'm actually going to take this Whirlpool because I want to grab his dive. Just going to do fairly quickly here. Okay, so he's going to dive. There he goes. He's going to deflect the dive because that's kind of his biggest hit. Uh, his abilities are dive, pump, and that Whirlpool. It's going to hit him with a Sandstorm. Which takes him out, and that's Marley. Now he's going to switch to his little bug. I guess the bug, I don't tend to reflect anything. He doesn't do anything that does really big hits, except for his Water Jet. Um, his abilities are Water Jet, Healing Wave, and Tidal Wave. Uh, healing Wave just heals him. Tidal Wave does a big wave. Uh, Sandstorm causes that to do so little damage. I actually, my human ratio, as long as I hit him, heals for more than it hits for. So it's made for 49. I'm going to have healing 69 if I hit him. Which, of course, I don't always hit. Um, again, he's, he tends to use that one more than he uses Water Jet, which is kind of nice when using the Idol. Because uh, the Water Jet hits you for about 270, whereas that one hits me for 49 and I heal 69. Like I said, all I'm going to do, and then he gets, gets his heal off. And again, all I'm going to do is just go back and forth between these two. And just keep beating on him. Even if I don't kill him, as long as I get him down low enough that... I can bring in my Kalari, do a quick predatory strike, he's going to die anyway. Like his, as you can see there, if he does his water jet, he does end up doing more damage than he does with his tidal wave. Hoping he'll switch back to the tidal wave, there we go. He sticks with that for a while, I should be okay. So I can take out the actual spirit, even when I'm at a lot lower health than this. Spirit really does nothing that, you know, with the Flect, he's not going to do much damage to me at all. Just going to look over the, here we go, so the Spirit, um, you know, has Tidal Wave, Geyser, uh, both are just little things that they put underneath you that go off after so many rounds, and then, sorry, Whirlpool and Geyser are those two, and then he has Tidal Wave, which is that big wall of water that we've been watching on this particular pet. Okay, he did end up taking out my idol. Just gonna bring in the bird. It's because I want to end this quickly. It's gonna hit him a quick predatory strike. And there he goes. Okay, so if we can start off, just start pecking at him. He's gonna throw down his geyser. Peck at him again. He's gonna throw down his whirlpool. Back at him again. He's going to do a, a wall of water. Back at him again. 
He's going to do another wall of water, and then I'm going to get hit with both of these Whirlpool and the Geyser. Uh, I'm not weak against either one of them, so I should be able to live through that. Downside, of course, is going to stun me. Uh, I think the wall of water is actually going to take me out here. Because, there we go. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to do this one uh, again. Uh, oh, what the heck, we'll try it. I have two rounds. Miss. This is actually going to end up killing me either way. So I'm actually going to get a tie, which... No, no I miss, and I die. Okay. Okay, normally I wouldn't bother, but I'm actually going to keep the video going even though I did die there. More bad luck with the random number generator than anything else. So first thing I'm going to do is just do a quick revive battle pets and do this again. I have noticed since patch 5.2 he's been consistently starting with Marley. Uh, I'm just going to go with this angle this time. I've already seen the abilities, you know what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to be fairly quiet, probably. I'll switch to the idle. He dies. I deflect. He pumps. I do sandstorm. Cool. He's gonna hit me with pump. It's a big hitting ability, but I live through it fairly easily. Again, I'm gonna take this one because he's gonna dive next round. There we go, he dives. Quick deflect, we'll stop the dive. Whirlpool, and I take him out. He dies with his pump still on him. <coughs> Luckily, he's using his wall of water this time, um, and not his spurt, because, like I said, his spurt can actually do quite a bit of damage to me. Hoping he's going to stick with doing that. If he does, I should be fine. Again, you see, the spurt does quite a bit of damage. If he's doing that again, he's actually going to taking out my idol. I'll be able to spot it with one spurt anyway. There we go. The only reason I left the loss in is, of course, that I had said I was going to do the Battlestone before, and I had done it before that loss, so. Let's leave that in just so you can still see w the owl there that I had. Brought up. Oh, and my idol might actually live through this. There we go. Idol live through this. You know, my idol's at like 200 life, and he's bringing out his water spirit. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, I've taken him out starting with less on my idol. He's not affected by sandstorm, so the damage I'm doing to him is not reduced. This is kind of the upside to fighting an elemental and downside to playing an elemental. Um, elementals are not, their racial abilities are not affected by weather effects. And of course the human racial ability is that 69 heal that I get around. So I'm just going to put up my deflect here, it's going to stop the wall of water and both of these, his geyser and his whirlpool, they're doing damage to me. It's been nice with reflect because of course it would shoot the one back at him. But you can't win them all. 
Again, I'm just gonna walk in, hit him a couple times. Keep his whirlpool down, I'm gonna hit him again. When sandstorm hits, I should win here. And there we go. There's the Pandaren Water Spirit, or also known as the Flowing Water Spirit. Flowing Pandaren Spirit, sorry. Okay, and again, like most of the Tamers and Spirits, I'm just going to show you what I get in my bag. Got some more magical pet biscuits, which make your pets bigger. I like them, they're kind of cool. Um, I like to bring out things like my panda and make them bigger. Uh, okay, but uh, and that is the Flowing Pandaren Spirit.